We've seen that Veritone Redact has helped agencies increase the speed in which they can redact files by up to 90%. Manually, our clients have reported to us that it takes approximately 10 man hours for every one hour of video to redact. And through using Veritone Redact, they're able to reduce that by about two and a half to three times on average. Hello, my name is Aviv, and today I'll be walking you through the Veritone Redact application. Once you log in with your username and password, you'd simply scroll over into the Upload Media button to start uploading your evidence. This is where you can go ahead and upload your audio and video files that you will need to redact. Once you've selected your files, you can choose between the processing down below to begin processing your file. The first checkbox over here allows you to run not only head, but also laptop and license plate detection. What this does is it goes frame by frame and finds all of your heads, license plates, and laptops throughout the video, and it will catalog all of those unique objects for you to select which objects you would like to redact and which you would like to leave unredacted. It's important to note that Veritone is the only application that uses head detection and not face detection. So what that means is as you have different angles of an individual's face, head detection will be able to pick that up because we don't rely on facial features in order to create that detection. So a back of a head, a side profile, an individual looking down will all be detected using our head detection engine. The second box down here is for your audio, and simply by selecting that, it will return a machine-generated transcript for all your spoken word in your file, which will allow you to simply review and redact your file directly from that transcript. Once your file is uploaded, you're able to enter into your file where you have your media player at the center of your screen, Underneath, you have the different timeline bars that just correspond to the different objects that are being redacted. So these middle three here are what we automatically selected to be redacted, our heads, license plates, and laptops. This bottom one down here is for your audio, and UDR just stands for User Defined Regions. So basically, any object that you as a user would want to redact, you will see that taken place in this timeline up here. On the right, we have all of our objects that were automatically detected. So we have our heads in green. We have our laptops in orange. And we have our license plates in blue. What we can do from this point is select all of our objects. And if we look at our timelines, we see that our objects are now populated as to when in our file we have made those redactions. So again, it's all color coded with your heads in green, your license plates in blue, and your laptops in orange. I can play this video now, and you'll see that we have all of our heads being tracked along with the green box. Our laptops or MDTs will be redacted through this orange box. And right here is a really good example as to why you would want something that does head detection versus face detection, because we have a driver whose face is in the shadows, yet is, it is still able to detect him, as well as an officer whose face is looking down where the facial features are not present, but yet with our head detection, you are still able to detect these heads. If I fast forward, you will see that the license plates are now automatically detected in blue as well. From here, as we're reviewing our file, since we did select all of our objects, if we ever did need to now unredact anything, it's really just as simple as clicking on the box. So let's just say we do not need this officer's head to be redacted. We can really just click on it. It'll highlight which detection it is, and we can unselect that box. So if you can imagine your workflow of simply watching your file, all your objects are selected. Every time you find a box that should not be there, you really just click on it, unselect it from the menu on the right, and you can keep reviewing your file.
So that has been the automatic detection, again, for your heads, license plates, and MDT or laptops. Should there be anything else that you would need to redact up and over those objects, such as an officer notebook, maybe an ID card of an individual, that's where your UDRs come into play. So again, your UDRs just stand for User Defined Regions. In order to draw a UDR, we simply just click and drag over our mouse. And from here, we have a couple different options as to how we want to redact this particular object. If I leave the UDR here, it'll stay in this one position for one second. Or I can use my handlebars to click and drag to select for how long I want that box to stay in that one position. For a more moving object, for example, I can automatically track this object as it moves around the frame of the screen. So similar to what we saw with our head detections, for example, the yellow box will keep track of your object throughout all of the movement. And lastly, the most important and most time-saving feature with these UDRs is a capability called live tracking. So this gives you the ability to, by simply double-clicking on your mouse, you will enter into live tracking mode and you can simply play your video at different speeds and simply follow along your object with your mouse. If the object gets closer or further away from the camera, you can use your scroll wheel to scroll up or down to increase or decrease the size of the box. And if you are done redacting your object, you can simply double click on it and we can review our file. And now we have redacted our object at the speed in which we wanted to watch our video. That's how you'd go about redacting all items from your video. Now we'll discuss how you can redact your audio through Veritone's machine transcription. In order to begin your audio redactions, you simply switch over into the audio tab here at the top, where you will now see that full machine generated transcript of all of your spoken word in your file. This transcript is fully time correlated with your file, which means that it'll read off along to you karaoke style as your words are being said. Because we have this transcript, we can simply skim this transcript and review what is said and when in our file much faster than we could if we were to listen to the entire file. If we click onto any particular word, it will allow us to play right from when that word has been said. And if you keep resisting, you're going to get a taser. Nope. This now allows us to gather context instantly as to what is said and when throughout our file. Now to conduct our audio redactions, because we have this transcription, we can simply search for any sensitive audio that we may know in advance that we will need to redact. This can include any names, addresses, social security numbers, etc. And simply through searching, we're able to now see all instances in which our search term appear in our file. By right-clicking on our search term Brian, we can simply choose to redact that one instance of the word Brian, or we can redact every time that the word Brian has been said in our transcript. By clicking redact all, we now see that both times that the name Brian appear are now blacked out, as well as we have these two orange markers in our transcription timeline bar that show us when in our file we have made audio redactions. Now, if I play this, you'll hear that the word Brian will now be muted from our audio. No, no. don't touch out of this vehicle no, now. Don't. If we needed to redact any longer sentences or phrases, we can simply use our transcript more of like a map to help guide us as to what we need to redact and when. By simply clicking and dragging on our transcript, we can select the text that we want to redact. Right clicking on it allows us to now redact it. The consequences. And you can now hear that that entire phrase is all muted. Once we're done with both our audio and our video redactions, the only step left for us is to click this blue redact file button. What this will do is it will save our redactions that we have chosen. So for our video, we can choose to blur or to black fill. If we choose blur, we choose between 10 different levels of blur. And for our audio, we can choose to mute it or to replace it with a tone or a beep. And once that process completes, your finished redacted file will live up here in your redacted files tab where you can preview what your finished file looks like. Vehicle peacefully. 
with me. Be a man about it. Right, so can we be a... So you can see this is an example of what our level 10 blur looks like with really just the user selecting all of the heads to be redacted. If we are happy with our preview, we can download the file right back to our local computer where we then distribute our redacted file to the requester. Or if we need to make additional changes, we can always go back to our results tab and continue editing right where we left off. The last example that we will cover is how our head detection works when there are a very large amount of people in a given frame. So this is just an example of a camera going through the streets of New York City. And you can see that the head detection does a very good job of picking up all of the heads, no matter the angle that they appear. In this particular frame, it's a very good example, again, as to why you would want something that does head detection over face detection. Because in addition to detecting all of the heads on the sidewalk, it is also able to detect those heads in the reflection of the glass as well. By using Veritone Redact, you're relying on the machines to do a lot of the work for you because they're the ones who are going frame by frame and finding all of your objects that need to be redacted. You as the human will simply go in, supervise those results, and create any additional redactions that need to take place. This has been the Veritone Redact application.